Turning now to the new developments surrounding the unemployment lines here. The U.S. hitting a record-breaking number today, 6.6 .6 million people filing for unemployment. And we've heard from you that the process to file is nearly impossible. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has the new move from state leaders that will hopefully make an already difficult problem a little easier. We can't do anything. I mean, what can we do? It's a question many are asking when they hit roadblocks while trying to file for unemployment. Elizabeth Calderon worked at Winn-Dixie in Pasco County. Because of her autoimmune disease and fears of getting COVID-19, she left her job. I stopped working in March 19. That was two weeks ago, and she still hasn't been able to file. Calderon needs to reset her PIN, but she can't reach anyone on the phone, and the website crashes. When you're used to something and it feels really good, and all of a sudden um, they stop everything, it's like... Oh my God. The sign says closed, but at Career Source Tampa Bay, they're still available online and over the phone to help people having trouble through this process. Their calls lately rapidly picking up. We're fielding about five to six hundred calls a day between our 14 operators. John Flanagan with Career Source Tampa Bay says many systems aren't set up to deal with the volume of folks needing help. Just today, the U.S. Department of Labor reported a record breaking 6.6 .6 million Americans filed new unemployment claims last week. Flanagan suggests trying to file in the early morning or late evening when traffic is slower. The more you're on the site trying to make sure that your claim gets processed, it's likely to get processed. Soon, the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity will have paper applications for unemployment. The department is also trying to improve the website with a mobile version and is working with a vendor to increase call volume. The only thing that we could do is just have patience because it's out of our control. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.